Right now we are joined by the Bengal Governor, Dr. C. V. Anand Bose, sir. Uh, the Panchet election is to be conducted in the state within a few days and you have opened a peace room inside Raj Bhavan. What is the reason why you had to open the peace room inside Raj Bhavan? The reason for opening the peace room is to provide a comfort zone for the people who apprehend violence on their life. Violence is taking place in many parts of Bengal and this is not the first time. But first time or second time, violence is violence, human life is precious. No one can play with human lives. I find there is a tendency among at least some of the misguided politicos to consider human lives as fallen leaves, only to be cornered and trashed. That cannot happen. We will protect the life and property more than that, the dignity of the common man. That is being traduced, that is being questioned, that is being abused in the field by some misguided elements. This peace room is opened as a haven for the harassed to come for appeal, consolation and action. Sir, why peace room? Don't you think there is sufficient peace in the state? It's very made very clear from the newspaper reports. Instances of violence are there. So we cannot declare and close our eyes and say there is peace all around. Wherever there is a breach of peace, we have to intervene and see that the peace is re-established. People have a right to enjoy peace. That right is inalienable. We have to ensure that right is given to the people to enjoy. Mostly from which party most of the complaints are being registered? As far as complaints are received, we don't go by party. Anyone can. Yes, there is one party which is favored here, the affected party. The affected party is preferred here. We care for them more than others. Violence is still taking place in several parts of Bengal. What is your reaction and what you would like to say to the people of Bengal? What is your message? Violence during election is nothing new. But whether it is new or old, violence is violence. Even a single human life is precious. So we have to be vigilant. We have to be proactive. That is what we are trying to do. We will take every step in cooperation with all the stakeholders to ensure that miscreants cannot rule the roost. Nobody can take the law in their hand. We will ensure that the miscreants and the lumpen and crass elements are shown their place that is behind the bars. What transpires between the constitutional head of the state and head of the government, that is governor and the chief minister, cannot be discussed in public all the time. Whatever is required under the constitution, under the laws of the land, under the laws of propriety, we are doing, that is not to be given outside. When it is, when the time is ripe, Certainly that will be shared with the public. Sir, I could order to deploy the central force uh, across the state to uh, conduct the fair and fair, and fair election. And uh, the state government has approached the Supreme Court challenging the order. Do you think uh, that central force is needed to conduct a free and fair election? Now that the matter has been decided by the High Court, I have nothing more to add. If the state government in its wisdom decided to go in appeal, Going in appeal to the Supreme Court is something which is very much justified under the Indian system. Let the law take its course. Let us patiently wait for the decision of the Supreme Court, which is the apex court. Their word is the ultimate word. Let us wait for that. Sir, my last question is how the government, the Western government is reacting when the Rajbhavan is forwarding all the companies to, them to take proper, proper action? I have to speak about it on a case-by-case -case manner. The complaints which are received in the peace room, some of them were sent to the government. Action has been prompt. We are watching the situation. 
Similarly, the complaints that were lodged or sent to the State Election Commissioner, that also has been left with, dealt with speedily, effectively and swiftly. Sir, TNC is alleging that the government is trying to run a parallel administration. This is a pluralistic society. Any political party can air their views freely. This is not a parallel administration, but a practical administration, where the Rajpavan tries to handhold all the stakeholders and run together. Coming together is beginning. Keeping together is progress. Working together is success. Rajpavan is trying to bring together, keep together, and work together. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, several complaints are being registered at this space room, and so far, uh, more than 350 complaints have been registered at this space room, which are being sent to the Wisdom gov government and uh, the state gov state election commission to take appropriate action from the uh, Rajbhavan in Kolkata. With camera person Shamshundur Ghosh, this is Rajesh Shah for India Today in Kolkata.